Hello everyone and welcome to another video of GT Sport Driving School. In this video I'll be talking about racing lines, so what does it mean and how to get a better and faster exit speeds out of the corner. So I'll try to start with the basics and then we will move on on a couple of examples that I actually prepared for you. So the racing line seems easy to understand at first, so it's actually getting from point A to point B in as little time as possible. But the reality is not that simple, so we gotta account and for multiple other factors like downforce, air density and other, but for this video I'll just try to focus on the, the examples and not go into the technical part that much. So without further ado, let's get going. And now let's start with our first example and on the left hand side you can see late entry into the corner and on the right hand side you can see early entry. So here I'm actually waiting for the 50 meter sign and using the curbs. So in the intro of the video I said you gotta account in multiple other factors and the biggest, like the biggest factor in this game are the curbs. Like the most important thing is use the curbs in your advantage so you can get the rotation of the corner in the corner and get the better exit speed out of the turn. So you can see it, the difference is really huge in this one so in the end it was like two to three tenths and in other examples I will show you a little bit different approach into some areas but for this one it was better to go in later than to go in early. So the racing line is not that simple and we've gone to go through uh, some other examples and for this one I actually got it into the top 10 of this actual sector which is kind of nice in the end okay another example that we have here is better when it's better to go in early rather than going in late so the example is really showing in how I use curbs so you can see on the left hand side I get I got to the inside of that curb got the rotation that I needed car stayed on the road and I took the yeah in the end you take the corner at much higher speeds and it kind of reflects on your overall lap time and also you gotta account then what is coming after the corner you're taking is it the high speed section or it's actually a slow speed section so if if the corner you're taking if the after of the corner you're taking you have a big long straight you want to go for the late entry because you want to carry a bit more speed onto the apex so you can carry it onto the straight if you have a short one like in this one so i went in early didn't lose a lot of time actually got a bit more rotation and then hit the perfect apex and the yeah you can see the result here. On to our next example you can see the exact same principle that I've shown you previously so it's better to go in late you can see I'm really waiting for the 50 meter sign and the shadow so I want to get rotation and best possible exit speed out of this one and why is that it's pretty obvious because you have a really big long straight in front of you and you want to carry as much speed as possible onto the street and now let's go on to our last example where I show you another one another example what is what does it mean to go in early and what are the advantages of going in early and you can really see on the left hand side early entry hug the inside of that curb so I got the rotation that I need stayed on the curb went a bit wide but that's really not the problem because on the right hand side you can see late entry so I'm really struggling to make that turn and in the end the difference it's not the it's not really a big difference but we will see now so I got a bit more speed out of the turn and you could really not tell the difference at the, this point but let's check the delta at the end of this one so at the top of the hill I'm really attacking those curbs and you can see the ghost on the left hand side and finishing and round about a tent so m someone might say okay this is not really a big difference so if you lose one tent here in the next one you lose another tent and you have 10 corners in one in one lap and then in the end of the lap you lose like a second and that's really significant so it all adds up in the end uh, yeah and in this one I got to the top 10 so it, I think it was a good example to show you guys so usually in my coaching classes I got a bit more personal approach to this this is kind of be like a more general approach but if you're interested in my coaching you have a link for the site down below and also I would really like any suggestions for my future videos I really appreciate that stuff and guys thank you for watching this one and I'll catch you next time bye